Before starting any test, it's essential that we prepare the installation carefully. The pre-checks ensure accurate readings and prevents potential damage to sensitive equipment and danger to other personnel. Insulation resistance is a dead test, so begin by isolating the circuit to be tested. Verify isolation using appropriate means such as a proving unit and voltage indicators. Ensure all local loads are disconnected. This includes lighting, heating, or any devices connected to the circuit. We need to remove sensitive equipment from the circuit. This includes Incandescent lamp, an SPD, an RCBO, an EV charger, carbon monoxide alarm. Some devices can be left connected during insulation resistance testing. Just be sure to check the manufacturer's guidance. Double check that loads which may interfere with the readings are disconnected. Things like immersions, heaters, showers and incandescent lamps. And make sure the wiring is completed before you buzz 500 volts DC down it. On a new installation there's no excuse for not testing at 500 volts DC as all components should be rated to handle this. Set your TIS MFT Pro to the required insulation test voltage, typically 250 50, 500 volts or 1000 volts depending on the system design and condition. For new installations always use 500 volts DC unless otherwise specified. Double check your work to avoid compromising safety. Once all pre-checks are complete you are ready to carry out insulation resistance testing using your MFT Pro.